Elizabeth City State University is a leader in math and science, both regionally and globally. At home, ECSU reaches out to pre-college students with the Mathematics and Science Education Network. We serve the surrounding counties, uh, Bertie, Hertford, Perquimans, Pasquotank, uh, Gates. Uh, sometimes through grants we do um, Terrell, Washington, Camden. Um, and our whole idea of our program is that we uh, serve underserved students in the math and sciences, getting them to come um, to ECSU to pursue math or science careers. So a lot of times they get to come here to see things that they wouldn't necessarily see at their individual school district. So you have the Saturday Academy portion, um, and with that, you know, meaning that they come on Saturdays during the academic year. Um, and then we have like a summer component uh, where the kids come for a week during the summer. And so during that time, um, we're trying to have people come in, whether it's ECSU faculty, whether it's outside faculty, we invite people to come in from other universities. Um, primarily our kids, uh, as a result, do end up coming uh, to ECSU. The Center for Excellence in Remote Sensor Education and Research at Elizabeth City State has made a permanent mark on the world through groundbreaking research. And we have uh, been able to come up with some pretty impressive results, I must say. Using our remote sensing capability and satellite images, we have uh, identified the ice shelf that has uh, collapsed and has failed to re reform. And that uh, ice shelf is uh, in the southernmost part of Antarctica, which makes it um, really exciting because it wasn't expected. I mean, that's, and as cold goes, that's as cold as it gets. And as a result of that work that the students uh, performed under the guidance of Dr. LeCompte and, and uh, myself and other faculty members, they have uh, Goddard Space Flight Center, who was working along with us on this, validated the work. And um, then they petitioned the uh, U.S. Um, uh, Arctic Naming Commission to uh, name that bay that resulted from the collapse of the ice sheet after our university. And indeed, that was approved. And so uh, we now have um, the name Elizabeth City State University Bay being printed on maps and globes um, that will be there forever. And so that's, you know, the, the impact of some of the work that we get done in our center. Uh, there aren't too many universities that have geographic features named after them, but we do. Somewhere out there is a young student who will make the next great discovery, which is why the focus remains on the future and preparing students in science and math. We have, uh, moved aggressively into the middle schools and high schools uh, to try to uh, uh, help those students uh, make the choices in terms of the uh, uh, math and uh, science courses that they take and prepare themselves so that when they um, graduate they'll be ready to take on the challenging STEM courses in college. And we're beginning to see uh, changes now that there's a, a rise in the mathematics and science competency in Northeastern North Carolina. 